The Perseid Meteor Shower. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston Jones at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. If you've never seen a meteor shower, this month's Perseids are a perfect introduction. The Perseid meteor shower is named after the constellation Perseus, and the meteors appear to originate near this constellation in the northeast sky. Meteor showers are the debris of a passing comet, or sometimes the debris from a fragmented asteroid. Comets originally formed in the cold outer solar system. While most of the rocky asteroids formed in the warmer inner solar system, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. When a comet nears the sun, its icy surface heats up. This causes clouds of gas, dirt, and dust to be released, forming a tail of debris that can stretch for millions of miles. As Earth passes near this dusty tail, some of the particles hit our atmosphere. They burn up, and we see the result as meteors. NASA generates meteor shower forecasts to prevent potential hazards to spacecraft that are launching and orbiting Earth. The European Space Agency's comet mission, Rosetta, flew by asteroid Lutetia last month and returned beautiful images of this battered world. Now Rosetta's on its way to send a lander to a comet. NASA's Deep Impact Epoxy spacecraft is on an extended mission to study and search for planets orbiting distant stars. But first, in early November this year, it will fly by Comet Hartley 2. NASA's Stardust Next mission will fly by Comet Temple 1 in 2011. And the Dawn mission arrives at asteroid Vesta in 2011 and the dwarf planet Ceres in 2015. You can learn more about NASA missions at www.nasa.gov. That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston-Jones.